45 of women will be single, childless and probably happier for it by 2030 foot. Just saw a news item saying 45 of women will be single childless by 2030. Seven years away. Also recently found an article about a study that found the happiest demographic is single, childless women. Single, childless men were the unhappiest group. Their happiness increased once they got a wife to become their mommy 2.0 and do the majority of the labor in the home, which explains why women who were married with kids were unhappier than their single, childless counterparts. It's just funny to me that so many guys are screaming at us about men being lonelier than ever, getting less sex than ever, etc., like this is a major epidemic that we alone can solve by throwing our legs open and screaming let me wash your underwear for the next 20 years. No thought given to how everybody's more isolated than previous generations, that this is just what happens in a hyper-atomized society plagued by capitalist alienation. No. The men are sad and lovely, do something. No thought given to how we could make child-rearing more appealing to women financial security. Give them financial security, you absolute goons. No thought given to how men can make the idea of marrying dating them more appealing. No think pieces on how men can unlearn their deeply ingrained misogyny and stop treating their partners like second-class citizens they take for granted. No. Just I know, statistically speaking, you're happier as a single, childless woman, but have you considered that you're actually a huge bitch for not sacrificing that to go back to making men happy? Also breed our future workforce please. No we won't do anything about the cost of living, stop asking. Throwing our legs open and screaming let me wash your underwear for the next 20 years. Hilarious. Also wanna throw it out there, for all the young engines the secret to not doing a man's laundry is to never start in the first place. It's like the population problem in Japan. Women there aren't marrying and having kids because the culture treats them even more like trash than western culture does. But do all the concerned politicos think one minute about changing the culture as a possible solution? Nope. They try bribery, stern talks on duty, etc., instead. I think it's brilliant. What this basically shows is that once women have the means to choose, they make choices that are more fulfilling than the total monkey work of marriage and kids. In the past more women had to have a man to survive. Or even just be able to leave their family home, now fewer and fewer of them do, so why would they bother with all the crap that men bring with them? Having been both in a relationship and with children then long-term single, I prefer single and not because previous relationships were bad, it's just nice doing what I want when I want to and not organizing my life around someone else. Child is grown, so I'm happily adulting. Men really are letting the side down and I love that women aren't putting up with it. A partner should add value to your life. I just wanna say throwing our legs open and and screaming let me wash your underwear for the next 20 years is fucking hilarious. Thank you for that. Also can confirm, single and child free by choice. Happy as a pig in mud. Have worked hard for my independence and financial security. Will never give up my peaceful and free life. LMAO this is so funny because I just watched a video on how 7 out of 10 men in doctor visits don't wash their ass right and leave skid marks face with tears of joy face with tears of joy face with tears of joy. I'm one of those single child free women. The amount of pressure off of my head when I decided that I didn't need or want children was freeing. I didn't need to rush to find a partner anymore. I am somewhat back to dating, but only fellow women are plus to being bi, because trying to date men is so full of minefields and draining. I laugh so hard whenever some misogynist demands that women get out there and make babies. No can do, my incubator was removed last year and I was probably infertile prior to that. Yeah, I'm probably going to die alone with 20 cats, sounds like a great time, honestly. Just cover me in cats. I'm 40s and single, this is the longest I've been single since my teens I was suddenly pretty with big boobs and craved any form of positive attention. A million relationships and one 15 years marriage later, this is the happiest and most content I've ever been. I do have kids but they are all in double digits so much easier than the zookeeper years. 
it's me, my cats and houseplants. A couple of male friends keep hinting at wanting a relationship and I absolutely will not consider it. Peace reigns. Already they're bitches. Listening to so many of my friends' troubles with their husbands, I doubt I'll ever want to try dating again at this point. I completely agree I've been engaged for eight years to a man-child, no sign of ever getting married or having children because his priority like many men these days is gaming over work, personal hygiene, chores, a PlayStation is priority. We've been living with my parents for the past two years and he left me alone for a month over Christmas and New Year's when he ran home for a long beach holiday to see his family. I'm going to end the engagement when he gets back this weekend. I'm 38 and child-free, soon to be man-child-free too. This is why reproductive rights will always be under attack. I'm child-free and when people see me interact with kids, they'll say something like, see you're great with kids. I'm like, yeah, I know because I love kids. It's the parenting that puts me off. It's utterly tedious. All I can think of now is how many of these single, lonely men, instead of changing something in themselves to become an appealing option for women, they simply choose easier solution violence and abuse towards women, who do not want to have sex or anything with them. I'm just sad and lost at this point. We may don't need them, but they need us and I know some of them enforce themselves on women. I got so lucky with my husband. He is a clean freak and he loves cooking because it relaxes him whereas I find it stressful. We are both child-free because we love having money and freedom and we are both too impatient for children. Go women woo. Legit curious to see the stats for lesbian women, especially if they have children. I think men need to step up more. My husband and I are 100 equal in the household and childcare work. I've been single for a long period and now I'm married and can say I'm happier married. If you find someone who gives you what you need even if that is space to be by yourself. I have friends who have been in relationships for years and will never live together and are perfectly happy. I think it's about finding what you need and not compromising. Why aren't women raising children with other women? Two or three women rent a large house or duplex and help each other with childcare, food, bills, cleaning and emotional support. Men are now only used for making babies. Why a no, treat them like they treated us for millennia. I love my children dearly, but if I had to do it all over again, I would remain single and childless. Nothing could have prepared me for the disproportionate amount of work most mothers and wives do compared to their male partners. I even married progressive man and it's still a huge issue that causes daily resentment. Men need to step up more. Women are the ones who do pretty much all the childcare, all household duties and work a job as well. Women get all the stress while the men get to have wifey running around like mummy too and do nothing to contribute. It's no wonder women are happier being single. Who wants to run around after a lazy man child? No sane woman does. Being part of this group, I'm not surprised. Men profit from marriage and family, women lose. Let's drink to that. Cheers. I'm thankful every day that I've never been in a relationship arose but also that I don't have interest or desire. It looks very draining and tiring and I don't want to deal with basically raising a grown ass adult when I already plan to stay child free. No thanks I'm content with my cats. Being bisexual sometimes sounds like a blessing for me. I work in dialysis and sometimes the older women and men like to make small talk. Years ago one of the older ladies asked me in broken French whether or not I was a madam or a mademoiselle. I answered in my even broken French that I was a mademoiselle. She nodded and said good. We met a a Finnish dialysis clinic and she was an older Iranian lady, so the experience is truly universal. Biggest issue with men experiencing loneliness is that we completely shirk the social network safety nets that women actively maintain. Forcing a woman to live as a breeding sow and maid doesn't fix those problems, it just offloads all of the damage onto their wives especially since it's seen as weak to vent about your problems to male friends so people just dump it on their partner. 